everyone. I'm just sitting on my band. <laughs> Today we're going to do um, some exercises using the band. So recently I put a video onto YouTube which was showing you how to use a reformer. The reformer is a big machine that Joseph Pilates devised from um, hospital beds. So when he worked in the Isle of Man with um, all the interns there and there was some were stuck in hospital, he adapted the beds by adding springs and pulleys. And that's where the, reform, the reformer idea came from. But in these times, I understand we can't get to the studio, people can't come in to use the reformers and I'm missing the reformer classes a lot. So I showed you a brief uh, routine of some of the basic exercises that you can do on a reformer. I'm now going to show you how to do those same exercises at home using a band and a locked door or a door that stays shut or something else that's attached to the wall that you could use. I don't suggest a radiator, don't want to pull your radiator off, don't want to be sued for that, thank you very much. So when we were on the reformer we start always usually with a bit of footwork we can use the band to do the footwork. So if you lie on your mat and hook your band around your feet, hold the ends firmly, bend your elbows and then come into neutral. Have your legs in tabletop position. But normally when we've done this before, we would extend the legs out to a 45 degree angle. When lying on the reformer, your feet are on the bar, which is about that height. So about with your shins more or less level, parallel to the ceiling, perhaps a little lower. So we're going to do the footwork, which first one was feet parallel. Breathe in, make sure you really need to use your core and just push into the band to extend the legs, not taking them very high and then back. So as you push, into the band, straighten the legs, watch for the spine arching. Your feet should only be about 12, 14 inches perhaps off the floor. Maybe it's a little bit more. I'm only going to do these in sets of five. You can do these in sets of 10 if you want to. It's surprisingly tough. Good workout for your arms. So then we did second position, uh, first position, which was to bring your heels together. Pop your band between your knees. So your feet are in first, keep your elbows firmly on the mat and same thing, push out and squeeze, bend and return. Feet quite low as if on the foot bar on the reformer. For three, squeeze the inner thighs, lift the pelvic floor and five. Excellent. Okay, then we did, um, what did we do after that? Oh yes, we did the footwork, the lowers and lifts. So you could do this by pushing out and then alternating, pressing your heels away from you. You've got that little bit of elasticity with the band. Bearing in mind, this is gonna work your calves and your thighs, but it is still always about your core. Press the shoulders down, keep neutral. You could do both feet together. Point and flex. You've still got that tension with the band. Keep neutral, don't let your spine arch. Quite low with your legs to the floor. And then release it back in. Then we went into second position. So if you take your feet a little bit wider, turn them out. Again, hold the band in between the knees and push out and return. So two inner thigh stretch is what we're looking for as you bring your feet in and five. Switch the band to just one foot, hold the other leg in tabletop and just do one leg. So you're pressing low towards the floor not trying to touch the floor, so it's not along the floor. Again, I'm just doing five. You could do 10 and switch legs and repeat. So keeping the band still with your hands, you're creating that little bit of resistance, but keeping neutral. So you've got to use your tummy, press your ribs down, keep your shoulders back and down, keep the pelvis still, and then rest it down. 
Well done, stretch out, much harder than it looks. Whew, well done. So then we would move on to hip lifts. So hip lifts is like doing your shoulder bridge. So I'm actually going to use a big round roller for this. You could use a small round roller. You could use a block, a pile of books, um, a small stool, a puffy. If you've got a puffy, put your feet up onto the puffy or just the edge of your settee. So make sure whatever it is you've got quite close to your hips, hands down by your sides. And then tilt, squeeze your buttocks, lift your hips. Hold, breathe in, breathe out, roll down nice and slowly. And again, so tilt, squeeze, lift up. So we're back into mobilising your lower back and your spine. Try and keep whatever it is you have your feet on still. So if it's a piece of furniture, that's relatively easy. But the roller, as you can see, does want to move underneath my feet. So I've got to press firmly and lift and down. So if you have got a roller or a ball, you can do the one where you push your carriage backwards and forwards. So this time, obviously, I can't move backwards and forwards. So my legs are going to do the work. Just make sure I'm not too close to the wall. So you would lift up, feet parallel, hold, and then roll your roller backwards and forwards. I've got little feet, so it doesn't really go very far. You'll really feel this in your glutes and in your hamstrings. And then roll it down slowly. Stretch it out to release the backs of your legs. Whew. Nice and warm. So from there, we would normally move into hands in straps to do some arm exercises. We're going to do the same thing using the band. Now I've locked the door so that it won't move. I'm going to hook the band into the door handle, turn round, and hold one end of the band in each hand, arms up in front. On the reformer, you would always hold your legs in the air while doing your arm exercises. Just a little bit too close, got enough tension. So keep your legs still, so you're in that 100 position, tabletop, shoulders down, tummy in, breathe out and pull the band down to your hips and release. Breathing, out to pull down and out to release. So you're gonna hold, breathe in, and breathe out. And you could do 10 if you want to. So the next one would be arms to 45 degree angle. You can have a breather if you need to between each, rep uh, each set of exercises. So from there, this is to work the pecs. Pull the hands towards your hips and release. Breathe out and in. And five. And the next one is everybody's favourite. Out to the side, into crucifix, and pull again towards the hips and release. For two, three, four, and five. And relax it down. Excellent. So the next one we're going to add. The triceps. So feet in the air, arms up, breathe out, pull the arms down, each side of the hips, bend your elbows, extend your arms and release. So pull down, bend, extend, release. Bend, extend, release. Just like when you do it on the reformer, you can have your elbow on the mat or slightly lifted to make it a little bit harder. Last one. And release. And rest. Excellent. So those that are a little bit more experienced with the reformer, you could take this a step further by adding an abdominal curl. So feet are in the air. Pull the arms down. Lift the head and shoulders. And release. 
chin to the chest, look between your inner thighs, and just check your knees to come towards you as you do that abdominal curl. So keeping the legs stiff. Again, a set of five, have a breather, another set of five, or you could do 10 without stopping. So regulars on the reformer, you, should, we know, you know we do this in sets of 10. So next one, let's add the legs. So pull down, lift the head and shoulders, stretch the legs out, bend and release. And three. And four. And five. And down. Excellent, well done. Just have a little stretch to have a breather. Some variations like we would normally do on the reformer. So feet back up again. This time we're going to take the feet into first position. So pull, lift the head and shoulders, stretch your legs out, turn them out, bring back to parallel and release. Squeeze the inner thighs. Keep the toes nicely pointed. And one more. And down. Oh, well done. Have a stretch. Excellent. <clears throat> so I'm going to take the band off the door handle again and turn around. The next set of exercises we would frequently do it would be uh, feet and straps. So again, you can do this with the band hooking it round your feet, similar to how we did the footwork. Legs bent, elbows down, and then extend your legs out. So that's your start position, as if you had feet and straps on the machine. So the other day, we, when we did the video, we started with leg press, which is to keep firm hold of the band, and then slowly pull the legs as vertical as you can, without coming out of neutral, and then slowly push away and repeat so your focus is pressing into the band to push the legs down without allowing your spine to arch if you need to make it tighter and back up so squeeze inner thighs lift the pelvic floor use your tummy squeeze your bum And back and push back to the start then take it into bend and stretch so bend and push out keep the band still with your hands good work out for the fingers and four use your tummy especially if you feel it nip a little bit this can be a little bit fragile in the lower back if you're not careful and then turn it out band comes inside get the band over the toes and half frog a little bit higher than when we did the footwork at the beginning so three four and five excellent now pop the band onto one foot extend the leg out hold the other leg in tabletop we're going to do one leg circle using the band. We're going to keep this leg in the air though just to make it a little bit harder and circle around. So if you did watch the video that I did on the reformer where we do one leg circle it's all about keeping your pelvis in neutral circling the leg with a bit of resistance but not making the circle too big So if you make it too big it'll make you tilt and roll. Do five in each direction. Ten if you want that little extra workout. You can see it's quite tough by my breathing. It's hard to do these and talk at the same time. One more. And change feet. So really good for the hips, adding that little bit of resistance. Use your core to keep it under control. 
and like when you're on the machine try and keep your circle round I might sound a bit silly but I'm a bit aware that this one's a bit of a funny shape and change direction and control the circle so try to make it as round as you can three I can't count now I think that's four actually and five Okay, put both feet in, push up and then gently pull. Let the pelvis tilt, pull. This is where you want to feel the stretch, right up the backs of the legs. Tight a hold of both hands, bend your knees, turn it out to release and slowly repeat. Turn out, push out and number three. So we also did um, a piriformis stretch on the reformer the other day. You could do the same thing. Hook your left foot over the right knee and gently pull. So as you're pulling the right leg up, you're going to get the stretch into your left hip. And hold. Release. And repeat. and release and repeat so we're doing it three times on each side excellent and change feet so getting that foot right across the top of the left knee and pull breathe into it and release and again pull release and one more time gently pull and release excellent taking the feet out of your lap have a stretch just to release Whew, that certainly warm me up okay so coming onto your side and push yourself up into sitting we're still going to do a few more little exercises as if you were on the reformer. I'm going to use a stool, just get the mat out of the way, and just pop the mat in front of the door. Sorry, the stool in front of the door. Hook your band back over your door handle. And then sit. So, just need to move the camera a wee bit, just bear with me. It's better. So you can see me. So again, holding the ends, just check you haven't got them crossed, just kick that out of the way. Now, sitting up tall, you can do this sitting on a stool, you can do this standing, or you can kneel. So those of you who do know reformer exercises will probably want to do kneeling. So I'm just going to sit on the stool, more so so that you can see. So we're going to start with chariot. Uh, this is reverse chariot. Sit up tall, make sure your weight is even through your sit bones or your knees. Keep your shoulders above your hips. Breathe out and then pull your band forward and release. Nice and slowly. Keep your chest lifted and your shoulders down. And five. Again, you could do ten if you wanted to. I'm just going to keep it fairly simple and just do them in sets of five. So then we would normally go into hug a tree, so arms are wide and repeat. So wrap your arms around an imaginary tree. Breathe out. This is a little bit easier than doing it on the reformer, trust me, because you're just pulling the strap, you're not pulling your own body weight. And four. And five. And release. Now we're going to do it the other way around. So either stand facing the door, kneeling or sitting. Hold your band each side of your hips and pull back. Drawing your shoulder blades down the back. And release for three, four, and five. 
Now I'm going to add a nice little stretch to another set of five. Um, still doing the chariot, but adding a neck turn. So it stretches the beta scapula, the muscle down the side of your neck. So this is quite nice if you get a bit of tension in your neck. So sit up tall, pull back, hold, turn the head to one side as if trying to look over your shoulder. Center, other side. Keep drawing the shoulders down, keep your chest lifted. Center and release. And again, number two, so pull back, hold, turn the head, look over the shoulder, release, other side, release, release your arms. Number three, pull back, hold, turn, centre, turn the head the other way, centre and release. And four, pull back, turn the head, look over your shoulder. Release, other side, release, and down. Excellent, one more time, pull back, hold, turn the head. My neck's actually going a little bit further. And release. Quite tough on the arms, all that. Whew. Sit up tall. This time we're going to hold the arms out to the side and just pull back. Breathing out as you pull into release. Make sure you keep your chest lifted, don't sink into your pelvis and then release. Great stuff, well done. Whew, definitely warm after that one. So that just leaves us with a little bit of rotation so I'm going to move a little bit closer to the door and hold the band again with one hand. Hand down by the side. So I've got both ends in this time. Obviously, if I use one, I'm going to lose the band. Again, sit up tall. You could do this sitting on the floor or standing or kneeling. And then pull and twist. Just creating that tiny little bit of resistance as you twist. Breathe out. As you twist into release and then change sides. So you're holding the band across in front of the body, relax the other arm, burn position whether standing, kneeling or sitting and repeat. Pulling the band as you twist. One more. And release. Excellent. You can finish with your mermaid stretch. So one arm up and over. And repeat to the other side. And release. Hope you've enjoyed that little sequence. Remember you can do them in sets of ten. You don't have to stick to fives. I just did five so I could get a little bit more in for the time. That took us about 24 minutes. Obviously, if you do more, it'll take you a little bit longer. Take your time with them. Focus on the precision, the control, and concentrate. Hope you're all keeping well. Please do subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already by clicking the button just below us. Take care, everyone. See you next time. Bye.